Hi guys, welcome to week seven. In week seven, we are going to revisit Python. We're going to leave our studio behind and revisit Python and run the MapReduce problem. In world class, I will place these four files for you, counts, input, mapper, and reducer. The input file is just a text. It's uh, the story, the Hound of the Baskervilles. And the other three files, the three Python files, are what we're going to use to run the MapReduce process. So what it basically does is it takes the text and it cleans it up for us and it counts the occurrence of each word. So let's get started. I'm going to use um, Anaconda for this. And I am going to change my directory. Let's first see where I am. Okay, now I'm going to change my directory to where I stored my files for this problem. Okay, let me list these, make sure everything's there so I can see I have my counts, my input, my mapper, my reducer, and I can see over here my week seven folder, you know, yours might be named differently. Um, I have my files here that I will need. So let's go ahead and start running this program. So the first thing that you might want to do um, in this exercise, I'm going to use um, Animal Farm. You can use whatever file you want. Um, Archive.org is a great site. You could search tons of text. So if you don't want to use the one that's provided in the exercise, go ahead and come to this website and search for a story um, that you might be interested in working with. So first thing, we're going to import the file. Once you have found um, the link to where your file exists, you can copy it. And then we're going to use the CURL command to import that. So CURL, and then there's my where my file lives on archive.org. We're going to output, um, I just keep the naming simple, af.txt. You'll see that command running to import. Let's go ahead and make sure that it's in there. Okay, so we can see AF listed right here, and it just appeared right here. If you want to, you could double click on this, and a separate window will open. And it's really nice, it has line numbers here. You could scroll through, we have a bunch of stuff at the top that we don't really need. Scroll through, and then there's your text. So we could see it starts on approximately line 574. So that's gonna come in handy later on. Okay, so next command that we're gonna do is we're going to clean up that file because we really don't need that stuff at the top or the bottom. So we're going to use, let's go back to our terminal here. Oops. Okay, so we're going to use sed and then we're going to say we want to delete lines 1 through 588. Delete those from the af text and we're going to output a new file. Okay, let's use ls, make sure it's there. And now we can use the head command to see if we cleaned up our text the way we wanted. Okay, so we could see that now we just have the beginning of the story. So the end of our story, let's go back to af underscore one, our new file that we created. We could see at the end of the file, there's a bunch of stuff that we don't really want to include in our analysis. So we're going to delete that. And that's, again, where you need to pay attention to, if you're using a different story, pay attention to the line numbers. So we're going to delete those ending line numbers. Okay, so we're going to delete lines 2640 through 2762. Get rid of those at the end of our new AF underscore 1. And let's just output a new text just to be on the safe side. Okay, and let's look at the tail of our new file. Just to ensure we did everything correctly. Okay, good. And that looks all right. And then again, if you want to just double click on the new one and just make sure that it does just contain that text. Okay, so that file looks good. That's something that we can go ahead and work with. Now, this is where your counts file, the next file we're going to use is the counts.py file. So let's type in Python 
and then counts. We're going to apply that to our cleaned text, the animal farm to. Okay, so with that output is it just took all the words and it counted each one for us. That's not really something we can use, so let's go ahead and clean this up a little bit. Um, let's go ahead and sort this first. And so now we're going to apply the mapper. Okay, so now it kind of split up all our words, but we could still see it's just counting each one. All right, and again, let's, if you want to, you don't have to, but just um, to sort it alphabetically, you can go ahead and apply the sort command at the end. Okay, and I will just put that in alphabetical order for you. Okay, so we want to continue to clean up this file because we can't really do much with it yet. So let's go ahead and count the occurrence of each word. We're going to apply the reducer, the mapper and reducer together now. So you can see now we have young is found 16 times, so it's tallying those up for us. But we can still see that we have a punctuation in here, so we have yard with a comma and a period, and those were counted separately. So we don't really want that. So now we're going to use a command. Um, so if you're following along in the exercise document, a few commands are going to remove the punctuation from our text as well as reduce um, uppercase characters to lowercase characters. A, if you copy and paste, just make sure you double check that it worked, because I've had a few instances where the dash was a little bit longer than it should be with um, minus D, or there was some spacing. And again, the curly quotation marks versus the straight quotation marks, that can make a difference. So let's apply the punctuation command. And let's see, there it is. All right, let's open that up. Okay, so that looks good. It looks like all our punctuation has been removed from this text. Okay, I'm happy with that. Now let's go down to our next one, which is gonna make all those uppercase characters, lowercase characters. Again, if you copy and paste, just go ahead and open that up, verify that everything worked correctly. So now we can see we don't have any uppercase characters. So that's good. And now let's run the mapper reducer command again. Okay. So it looks like that worked quite a bit better than before. Um, for your assignment, you can use any text you want. Um, there's the input text, which is the Hound of the Baskervilles, and you'll basically be applying the same concept to this. Um, if you take the 650 class, we get into this at a analysis at a deeper level, and in that class you'll be comparing and contrasting two different texts or perhaps two books from the Bible, but we'll be applying the same concept here. Um, with some of the punctuation and upper lowercase commands, there's a few different ways to do it. These I have found to be the most efficient, but certainly if you want to experiment, go ahead. Um, the bottom of the exercise file also contains other commands just um, for your information and how to look through a text. But go ahead and submit this for week seven, uh, your work here, and document that, and pretty much that's all you have to do for this week. And then I will be posting the week eight final project um, midweek next week. Uh, so you'll have a little bit extra time to work on that. So please let me know if you have any questions, and I hope you enjoy this assignment.